Hello my friends, today I want to talk about something that a lot of folks starting on their Power BI journey kind of struggle with and I'm going to cover the pyramid theory of Power BI and I'm also going to talk about something that you must watch out for which is the learning paradox. So the goal here is to get you to accelerate through your journey, right? progress faster in that. But of course what happens is that we keep ourselves stuck there and folks our thoughts are powerful, our thoughts create a reality and here is what I hear people who are starting on their journey say to me. And they always say things like, Avi, I'm just getting started. I'm just a beginner. I'm just a rookie. I haven't, you know, I, I, yeah, I haven't mastered DAX yet. All of these things. So they're carrying on all of this baggage. And if you were to put it visually on a pyramid, you know, they would put themselves at or near the bottom of the pyramid, right? And again, that's what their language is, is saying as well, that I'm just getting started, I'm just a rookie. And what they're doing is that they're looking at somebody who they think is at the top of the pyramid. Sometimes that person is me, sometimes that's, that's somebody else, right? But of course, it doesn't work that way. If you, they're looking up at me, if you ask me, am I at the top of the pyramid? I would say, no, I'm not. I may be somewhere in the middle. And of course, I look up to the folks like Marco Russo, Alberto Ferrari. I look up at them and I'm like, you know, I'm mind blown. I'm like, I don't know how I will, I'll ever get there. And again, I feel like a complete rookie. I'm like, I don't know, like 5% of the stuff they know. I don't understand half of the stuff they explain on their site. So, so I'm looking up at them and you know what? I'm going to guarantee you that if we ask them, they're looking up at somebody else. And again, that's how human minds work. If you end up at Harvard because you're in the top 1%, guess what? You're not comparing yourself with everybody else. You're comparing yourself with Harvard. If you become a doctor, you're comparing yourself with other doctors. So I would bet you know, that you know, Marco Russo, Alberto Ferrari, the folks that I look up to, well, maybe they compare themselves with others in the BI industry, so right? So not Power BI. So we're always looking up at the top of the pyramid and that part is not gonna change, right? And that part, you know, of course, learning journey, I want us to be inspired by others and enjoy that process of getting better. But the challenge is by creating this mindset, we are not creating the impact and we're keeping ourselves stuck in the learning journey. And that's where the learning paradox comes in because we, we, we think that, oh, when is that point when we're gonna know enough? But the paradox is the more you learn, the more you find out what you don't know. Isn't that true? Think about any subject, right? The more you learn, the more, you, oh, and of course I've gone through the same journey, right? I mean, the more I learn, I'm like, oh wow, I didn't, I didn't even know about that. Oh, there's so much there. Oh, there's Python and there's R and there's M and DAX and of course, and that sort of stuff. But there's Power Apps and there's Power Flow Automate, what do they call it now, right? And, and on and on and on. And of course, even if I conquered all of those, right? Once you get to the horizon, guess what you're gonna see? You're gonna see a new horizon. So that is never gonna be over. So what do we need to do? Well, to keep ourselves stuck, you need to realize that where you're in the pyramid has nothing to do with the impact that you can create, and which also means it has nothing to do with the money you can earn, because that, that's how we earn money. The bigger the impact, well, the more money uh, you're earning if you're doing it right, right? So the, the key about the pyramid theory is realizing that, uh, so, you know, don't put yourself as the beginner, let's say, you're somewhere here. You're just getting started. The key is that your job is to create an impact and help people who are just a few rungs below you, right? So just this kind of layer and those are the ones whom you're gonna help. And if you think about it, you are most qualified to help these people. In fact, these people are just a few steps behind you Oh, God forbid, if they run into somebody who's kind of close to the top, it, it would be such a mismatch. You realize that because that person, you know, doesn't even like realize or, or you know, they, they wouldn't get the problems that they're facing. You faced this struggle yesterday. You're like, yep, you know, I get it, right? And this is the same as if you go to the school and there's a teacher standing up there and is explaining the concepts, which he has mastered 20 years ago or more. And sometimes that doesn't help you. Sometimes what helps you is the student sitting next to you who sees you struggling and you know, kind of hits you with elbows. Like, yep, I, I see what you're doing and I see where you're getting stuck. Man, I was struggling with the same thing last week. Here's what I did, 
right? So that's your role to help the people just a few steps below you. And folks, again, right? I mean, think about this. Even if you, even if you just learned about Power BI, this is day one, it's like, whoa, man, a Power BI, I didn't even know it existed. Guess who you can help? You can help all the millions or hundreds of millions out there who haven't heard about Power BI. And here's the other funny thing about the pyramid, right? I mean, the higher you go, unless you're very different, very special, again, you lose the ability to communicate to, to folks who are farther behind. They just don't get it, what you're saying, right? You're at a wholly different level. So if you look at the sliver, you can actually help a lot more people, right? And pyramid is obviously broader at the bottom, right? So you can help more people create more impact the lower you are. And now that's a paradox that can work in our favor. All right, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, for more videos, go to my channel, youtube.com slash power on now, or follow me on LinkedIn. I'll see you around if you, uh, yeah, and, and share your thoughts, put a comment down below. I'll see you next time, power on.